Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new or don't know me, welcome. My name is Jackie. Today I'm going to do a get ready with me uh, Q&A video. I have right here on my laptop, I have some questions. I didn't ask you guys anything on Instagram or anything. I'm just looking up randomly on the internet, um, random questions about myself. So yeah, let's get on with the video. I'm going to leave all the products that I'm using down in the description box. So the first question is, what is your full name and what does your name mean? My full name, it's not Jackie, it's Jacqueline. I don't know if some of you knew that. Uh, my name is Jacqueline. Um, my name means Jacqueline, the name Jacqueline means guardian of light. Um, another question that's on there is, how did your parents choose your name? Honestly, my mom said that she just looked at um, a book of names and that's how she came up with all of our names I know I have an older sister her name is Karen she's turning 22 in July I'm turning 20 in June and my younger brother is turning 17 in June um, growing up I was actually really um, close to my sister growing up because um, we are just two years apart so um, I wasn't so a distance from her. We actually went to school together, like obviously two years apart. We're two years apart in age, but we're one year apart in school-wise. Um, and that's just like, I don't know, it was weird at first. Um, I don't know if some of you knew this, but I was in marching band um, when I was in high school. I did it for all four years. Maybe not the brightest thing of me to do. I played the saxophone in March Man. And then during school, you had to be also in another music class to be in March Man. So in class, I played the saxophone, the clarinet, and the bass clarinet. The bass clarinet is basically a saxophone and a clarinet mixed together. And it's a very long. I played that as well. Okay, there's this question that says, if you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? I would change the day that I got drunk. That was not the best feeling the next day. It was my first hangover and that was a mistake. Uh, what is your favorite uh, TV show? Oh, right now I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. Well, I'm re-watching it because I watched it like three times already. When I just watched this documentary because one of my cousins told me to watch it, it's the documentary of Tiger King. Oh my god, let me tell you that that is crazy. Another question is, do you like scary movies? And the answer is, I can watch them in the daytime. If I watch them at night, trust me, I won't go to sleep. Um, what movie did I watch? The last scary movie that I watched at night was The Texas Massacre. I did not sleep. And the bad thing about that was I watched it in Mexico, so even worse. With everybody that I don't know really the myths over there in Mexico, just like La Llorona and stuff like that. So when they, when we were watching it, I was literally peeing my pants because I don't do scary movies. I don't do them at all. Um, two weeks ago that I posted and it was in Spanish. I don't know if you guys don't understand. It was in Spanish. Um, I did it also because I know that my family from Mexico is watching, some of my family from Mexico are watching my videos. So that's why I did it in Spanish. Um, because one of my aunts had asked me to do a video in Spanish so she can understand me. What I was going with that was that, um, I do speak Spanish, if you guys didn't know. I speak Spanish, my parents are from Mexico, which is what I said there in that video, is that my parents are from Mexico. 
and um, they're from a little town in Jalisco. I haven't gone and I think it's been like two or three years that I haven't gone to Mexico. I really want to go but I just now that I got this new job um, I haven't found the time to actually go and I don't think right now they're gonna let me with this whole crisis happening so and I've only been working there for a year which is a big round of applause for myself and my family knows this because the longest I worked in one place was three months and then the other ones would just be two months because I'd get tired of working there or I didn't like the managers and I just the most easiest thing for me to do was get the hell out of there. Okay, so the very first job that I got was a little Mexican marketplace here where I live. And I worked there for two weeks. Um, and then I switched jobs because I just didn't like it there. I worked taking care of an old lady for two months. And then I went to go work at Urban Cafe. And that was only two months. And then I worked at... Um, Wendy's and Wendy's was two days because then they fired me. The reason why they fired me was because I did not know how to use the grill. Do you still have a childhood teddy bear? Yeah, it's the one that's on my bed. Um, I think it was when I was nine. Um, so 2009, that's the bear that my parents gave me. It's the first ever stuffed animal that I had. Back then, I thought it was a huge ass bear. It's not even that big, but I thought it was a big bear. What's my favorite holiday? I don't think I have a favorite holiday, to be honest. Do you like roller coasters? My answer to that is no. I don't like roller coasters at all. I'm terrified of heights, so that tells you that I don't like roller coasters. What's my favorite music? I don't really listen to music. Um, like right now I'm listening to just on Pandora to see top hits. There are some good songs, but if I didn't have Pandora on like, I guess like the first thing that I would go to would be like, um, like Spanish music. What I mean by Spanish is either like Mexican bands or um, what is it called? Trap? I would listen to that. But other than that, I don't really listen to music or I don't listen to music a lot. Um, What's your favorite sport? I don't really watch sports. If anything, I would say soccer, um, but I don't really watch soccer. Not really, I don't watch soccer.
I would say like the reason why I'm saying that I would say soccer is because my dad and my brother are into soccer so much. My brother's um, in a club also in soccer for school. Who supports me? I feel like my mom supports me a lot. She's been there since my first video. Um, her and my sister were actually my first subscribers. Um, actually, it's both my mom and my sister. Because my sister was one, the one that told me. Um, That I should be committed in my videos because I started and then I stopped for a while and then I got back on to them because my sister was the one that told me she's just like well if you want to do anything ever in life you gotta cry you're a hundred percent you gotta give your your best and I wasn't really giving my full attention to my YouTube channel but now I am thanks because she helped me to get back onto this. I am here today making this video for you guys. If not, I, you know, I don't know what I would be doing right now. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video. Hope you guys like it. Like always, if you guys would please comment down below any other suggestions of any other videos that I should do. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll leave all the products that I'm using down in the description box. If you like any of the products that I'm using, make sure to look down below in the description box because everything will be down there. Hope you guys really like this. And like always, I love you guys. Bye.